Welcome to LearningSkill.com. Today's topic is how to configure NFS server on FreeNAS. FreeNAS is an open source software that can be downloaded at no cost from freenas.org. It was created in 2005 and it's based on the open source FreeBSD. FreeNAS provides various sharing services like NFS, SMB, APF, ISCSI. NFS used for sharing files between Linux operating systems. Start the FreeNAS server and enter the FreeNAS IP into the browser. After you enter the FreeNAS IP in browser, you will get this window. Type username as root. Enter the password. For the NFS configuration, we need to configure the storage pools. Click Add, click Create a Poll, these are the available disk, I am going to choose first three disk, click here, enter the name NFS, click Create, Next, we need to create the data set. Go here, click on data set, enter the data set name, Click save. Yep, now we successfully create the data set. Let's go for the sharing section. Click the sharing section. Click the Unix shares. Click add. Select the path. Click all directories. Enter the root user. Click no group. Click save. Enable service. Service has been enabled. Go to service section. Check the NFS service enabled. Next, check with the Linux client. Let's check what are the shares available from the FreeNAS server. Type the command. Let's check what are the shares available from the FreeNAS server. Enter the FreeNAS IP. Now mount the NFS share onto the local machine. Type the command. I am mounting into the slash client access directory mount computer let's check let's confirm with the mount command type mount here I successfully mounted Now enter into the mount directory, we will create some files. This is a data set we already created in the Rina server.
Let's stick with the Prina server. Go to the shell section. Move to the shared directory. These are the files we created in a Linux client. We successfully configured the NFS server in Prinas. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to Linux Help YouTube channel. For more videos, visit linuxhelp.com. If you have any queries, mail to support at linuxhelp.com.